Hello everyone. I wanted to give you an overview of today's assignment. This assignment is called an I am poem. Normally when you're writing an I am poem, you're writing about yourself. Well, if you already know, I like to write poetry, but I always like to put a little twist to it. So for this poem, you're not writing about yourself you are going to take on the characteristics of a type of an emotion. And when you're writing that type of emotion, you're going to personify or give a human characteristics to that particular emotion. So the format is going to stay the same, but of course, you're not necessarily talking about yourself you are going to be a certain emotion and giving that emotion human characteristics. So what I've done is I've given you the format, which will stay the same. You just have to make sure that you include what is in parentheses as well as the rest of the sentence. So I provided this as a template and example, but of course, what I encourage you to do is to use your own words and your own choices. Of course, your examples will be different. Now, when you turn this in, you are gonna turn this in on a Google Doc. Just remember, you do not have to physically share it back with me because since I've given you the Google Doc, we now share the document. And once you're finished with the document, make sure that you go back and click turn in or submit so that that way I am well aware that you have turned in the document and you're not still working on it. So after you've wrote out your rough draft, feel free to use the Google Doc to type out your final draft. Now, if you would like to change the font, which means the style that you see, because normally the style will be an Arial font or a Times Roman, that's fine for right now. But if you would like to change it, please make sure that it is not a scripted font. You do not have to change the size. You don't even have to change anything. You can just type where the blank is and just remove the blank and type in your answers. And that's simple as that. So let me know if you have any questions. You can email me, you can talk to me in class, or you can send a private comment. If I don't reply back to your private comment within a couple of days, please email me, follow up with an email because that way I can make sure that I don't miss your particular question. So have fun with this poem and take care.